Hi, Mom. Yeah. No, can you pick up Chris after school? Yeah, I'm at, I'm at the doctor's. Mrs. Harris? Describe your symptoms. H hang on. Stress, headaches, nausea. Well, I work on Saturdays. And how long has this been? Equanimity. Balance your lifestyle. Who do I have in the studio with me on the Valder Beatty show? You have Natalie Hawkins. And Wilmer Valderrama. Well, thank you guys so very much for joining us today. We'd love to know what you know, and we need to know. If we can start with you, uh, ladies are always first in my world. Natalie? Hi, how are you today? I'm fine. What can you enlighten my audience with today? Well, we have a very exciting show that we want everyone to tune in for, Douglas Family Goal, which basically chronicle, it chronicles my family's journey following my youngest daughter, Gabrielle Douglas, who went to the Olympics in 2012 and happened to win two gold medals. And just showing the hard work, the dedication, the sacrifice that we all put in as a family to help each one of us get to our dreams and our goals. So. You get to see a lot of fun, entertaining, interactive family uh, interaction. So I'm really excited. I'm excited for the show to debut. Well, we're very excited. You know, we if those of us who were lucky enough saw what was portrayed on Lifetime Television about how you nurtured uh, Gabby and got her through and to the Olympics. So what is this going to reveal to us in the sense that we may not think we already know. Right. You're going to be able to be sort of like the, the fly on the wall to get to see the behind the scenes. The Gabby Douglas story basically showed our journey from her birth until the 2012 Olympics. Now you get to see the behind the scenes, what we weren't so much able to show leading up to the 2012 journey. You'll be able to see a little bit more than what you saw before. So we're really excited just to have viewers come on and all of the people who have supported us to have them be able to uh, experience this journey with us means so mm -hmm. much to us. And this is going to be on Oxygen Network? Yes, on Oxygen. All right. Wilmer, let me ask you, what role are you playing in the, in the uh, uh, bringing this to life? Well, I'm, lu I'm lucky enough to be the uh, executive producer on the, on the show. Uh, you know, we met, uh, you know, we met Natalie and her family um, a while ago, and immediately when I met them, I felt like that their story needed to be told, uh, but not from any perspective that everyone actually have even heard about, read about before. We thought that being a fly in the world, like she said, uh, you know, in the journey and the road to the Olympics, and most importantly with them as a family, um, I thought, you know, was fascinating. They're hilarious. They're aspirational. They're you know, they, they have a spirit that I think it's, it's not only contagious, but it's, it's quite an example. Um, so to me, to, to, to tell the story about an all-American family and, and kind of elevate, you know, um, you know the topic of, of, of a family, you know, and, and, and her accomplishments as a single mother to me is, is extraordinary, you know. So to, to empower other women, to, to show her and see how she did it, you know, how she was able to pull this off, you know, I think to me that's, that's also fascinating. But, um, but very historic to be able to... Uh, to be able to uh, produce a show that that you know kind of documents you know the road to to what's never been done you know with uh, Gabby Douglas going back to the Olympics and uh, and defending her medal and uh, that's never happened in history so to me that that's also a unique opportunity to tune in um, but just uh, a lot of fun a lot of fun I mean to me that I you know that was that was a privilege to be able to tell this story. So Wilmer, when um, you and I kind of share the same last name, too. <laughs> yes, yeah, I just noticed that, yeah. <clears throat> I want to tell you, you always come up, people tell me when they search for me. So <laughs> <laughs> that's good. That's um, good. That's good. Okay, Gabby's road, and, and this is to 
both of you guys, uh, to the Olympics, any person going to the Olympics is hard. But I think hers was particularly hard. Will it show us, you know, how, not, not so much, I wouldn't be interested in the details of, of, of why it was so hard for Gabby, but show me how do I get over that hard part in life. It seems like it was really hard at some point for her mom and Gabby. It was brutal at times. And we really had to just fight. I say it all the time. We had to focus on what we had and not what we didn't have. And that's what we do so well as a family. And we encourage each other. When I start slipping and start getting a little negative or you know feeling defeated, my kids come back with lessons that I've taught them. But what you're gonna see is how we get through adversity, which is a lot of laughter. A lot of people have asked me, how do you keep your kids so grounded? And I have always said it's laughter because it's just good for the soul. And it's it's hard to be arrogant. It's hard to be depressed when you're laughing. And so it keeps us humble. It keeps us grounded, like right. I said. And it keeps us focused on things that we want in the future. Because right. it's just like such a, such a healthy place to be in. So fans and, and everybody who tunes in, you're definitely going to be able to get some good laughter out of the series because you're going to see how funny we really are. <laughs> yeah, for sure. My final question to you. Are you a traditional parent or are you today's parent? And what I mean by that, my grandson told me that, oh, kids should be allowed to be themselves and do what they want <laughs> to do, okay? I, and, and that's today's parent. All right, so right. I'm going to see a traditional parenting style in the sense like, you know, hey, I know what's best, go ahead and do this, or, or we're going to see today's parenting from you. So I sort of merged the two worlds. I am very traditional. I feel that my kids need to respect me as well as their elders. However, I do allow them to have a voice because I think stifling their voices is not healthy. So I do allow them to express themselves. I want them to have their own point of view because I'm not going to always be there for them. So I want them to be able to know how to make right decisions. And if I'm always engaged and never take my hands off, they never learn how to do that effectively. But I also want them to know that I am there for them. They can talk to me about anything, and they do. And we do have a friendship. I think it is possible to be both friend and parent to your children. I just think you have to do it in a very creative and a very deliberate way. All right. Wilma, I'll give you the last word. Tell me when we're going to watch. And, of course, we know where we're going to watch. But give us that information. Absolutely. <clears throat> You're going to be able to catch... Uh, uh, our show every Wednesday at 10 p.m. Uh, East Coast, West Coast, and 9 p.m. Central uh, on the Oxygen Network. And I hope you guys, you know, jump on the on the road and uh, and um, and, it, and witness exactly what we capture because it's uh, nothing short of magic. Well, I wish all of you guys the best. Well, I will be watching. I want my audience to tune in so we can chat about it on Facebook, Twitter, and all those places. Cool. I am all. And I, I think this is going to be really quality entertainment in a sense, if I could put it in that category. Thank you, Natalie. Thank, Thank you. you. The Belder BB Show.